Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this crazy effect uh, inspired by the Smoke Perp Phantom music video just came out. So in that music video, he was wearing this Gucci sweater. Um, they had this effect where all the little embroidery on the Gucci sweater would like come off and kind of like fly away and it looked really cool. So I figured I might as well try and recreate it with something that I had. i um, trying to show you guys exactly how to do this. So you guys can apply this to your own music videos. You can work around, try and find a way that you can change this up, make it your own. And I'm just going to play this out just to show you guys the base footage that we are working with. So it's kind of me just looking at this pattern. Patch. I'm going like that. So the reason why I kind of pulled it over like that is I didn't want a lot of wrinkles here because whenever we mask, we kind of want to have just like the white area right here. But anyways, I'll talk a little bit. But anyways, I'll talk a little bit about that in a bit. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna start working on this. So the very first step that we're gonna want to do, I just want to hold down Alt and we're gonna make a duplication of this clip and just drag up. So just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on that duplicated clip that we just did. We're going to right click it and we're going to bring it into After Effects. So um, I work in Adobe Premiere and After Effects for this. You can do this in just Premiere and you can do this in in just After Effects. You just need to follow the steps but kind of change it around. The reason why I'm using both and I'm using dynamic links is I think some is I think some parts work easier in Premiere, some parts work easier in After Effects. So if you guys are using both of those, you can follow along. If you guys are using one, like I said, it is still possible and I'm going to leave two links down below on how to crop in Premiere and after effects just so you guys don't get confused if I'm doing it in a different program you're unfamiliar with but anyways what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring this over here just so you guys can see it so this is our after effects thing and we're gonna be using after effects to do the cropping so the reason why we're using after effects for this is because you can actually zoom in better whenever you crop just a way better program for the actual cropping so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come up here to our pen tool we're just gonna click on that and we're just going to actually zoom in a bunch and we're going to make a nice outline of what this is so it shouldn't be too hard to make uh, just because this one is a triangle obviously in the, actu in the actual music video there's like snakes and lions so it probably took them a while just to be able to do all that okay so here we go I've masked it all out and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click M on my keyboard just to bring this mask up and then I'm going to actually drop this down just so I can see all my options and then right here where it says add we're gonna make that none just so we can see everything that's going on it's gonna be easier to mask okay so now that we've done that we're just gonna click off of this so none of this is selected we're gonna click a keyframe next to mass path so that way now that we make our adjustments it's gonna animate whenever we change it and then we're just gonna zoom in and I'm gonna click page up and down on my keyboard to move frame by frame like this so page down will move you forward page up will move you backward by one frame and I'm just gonna click page down to move over one frame and now that I've done that, I'm going to click on my footage and I'm going to adjust the little joints and re and reapply them to where they should be so that whenever I play this all the way through, you guys are going to see that it's this nice, cool, solid motion. So as you see right here, since I changed my joints, it stays on there and then it'll get um, and then just realign all these go frame by frame so if you guys so if you guys want this effect to last for a while you're going to have to do this over and over um, for a decent amount of time if you're working with a basic patch or basic object that you want to crop like this you could even use a rotoscope brush so I have a video talking about the fastest way to mask I'm gonna link that in the description below definitely go check that out if you guys would like to use a faster method for masking but I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it the manual way um, in case you do want to try more complex things and kind of mask them out so I just just did it for these four keyframes I'm not gonna go all the way through because I already did it once just to make that beginning clip um, but I'm just gonna show you what I've done just for example so like I said you move over keyframe realign move over keyframe realign every time you do that you're gonna see these little diamonds meaning you got the keyframe right and then you're just gonna have to go down all the way through the line for as long as you'd like the effect to happen so a bunch of readjustments okay so here is the original one I made this is with every single keyframe that I made so a decent amount of time it took me like five it took me about like five minutes to be able to do all these keyframes so not too long but anyways this is what it looks like whenever I just kind of scrub through like that and once and once you've completed this make sure instead of having it on none you change the blending mode to add and then you come up here file and you save that so now we're gonna come back here into Premiere after we clicked save and I'm just gonna play this through so whenever we have that completely masked out if I hide this bottom layer this is what we're working with so this is what we're working with this is just the masked out layer by itself and now we can add any effects to this patch without changing anything in the background so for example what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build up the look that was seen in that music video so there was a little bit of a glow on there so I'm just gonna look up glow you guys can use the um, regular alpha glows under stylized that comes with Premiere if comes with Premiere or if you guys have the sapphire pack you can use sapphire glow which in my opinion is a way better glow um, and if that doesn't show up right away just kinda mess around with the threshold and try and find a place where it glows nice 
right about there works. So now we have our glowing patch. It looks really cool. I'll bring that back just to show you guys that now I play it. You can see that there's a glow just on the patch. Um, so use this if you want to make one thing kind of glow or add effects into one thing in your image. Um, because that's actually a very useful thing to know. But I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to show you guys how to actually do the thing they made in the music video where they made it fly around um, and have nothing underneath. So it looks like it's so it looks like the patch is literally coming off the sweater and flying away. So what we're going to have to do is first we're going to have our is first we're going to make the motion so that this can like get off of the sleeve and kind of move around. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here under effect controls. We're going to come over here to motion and we're just going to click these little animation toggles for position, scale and rotation. So now we're going to move a tiny bit and we're going to make this start to grow. So I'm just going to click this little square and then um, scale it up however I'd like right about here. I'm going to move it over a tiny bit. I'm going to move it over some more scale it up like that move it over some more scale it up like that just like that kind of create some own your own little motion and then at the very end we'll want it to like fly off the screen like that and then what we're gonna do is we're going to even add a little bit of rotation so I'm just gonna click this little slider down here at this point I want it to be like this and then we're gonna keep going and just add a little bit more rotation So like that. So that looks pretty cool. Kind of just comes right off the sleeve and then it kind of flies out at the end like that. Just using keyframes for the motion. So that's cool. So now the only thing we have left to do is get rid of this patch on the very bottom so that it looks like it's just sleeve. So there's actually a very unique way I'm going to do this. What you could do is you can go into After Effects. You could use the same exact masking method to just mask it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hide this glowing layer that we have duplicated here. I'm going to go back to right about here. And I'm actually going to come over here to this export frame button. I'm going to click that and then I'm going to click OK. So if you come over here and you just go to documents and then you go to Adobe, you can come down here to Premiere Pro 9.0 and then just find the folder wherever that screenshot saved. So right here is mine. I'm just going to drag that in. So once you have that, take that screenshot and just drag it over your clip like this. So now we have our screenshot. If I scrub along like this, you'll see that it's just a picture. It's not moving at all. Um, and if I actually close this, you can see that this is our video all the way underneath. So the reason why I'm using this picture to actually do the crop is because I don't want anything moving around. I don't want to use a crop from a video that's moving around. I want to just have a nice still. I want to just have a nice still picture where I can just crop out this sleeve right here. So now we're gonna. So now we're gonna apply the crop. So I'm gonna click on this picture this arrow right here and then go to effects and then I'm gonna search for the crop effect I'm gonna take that crop effect I'm gonna place that on my picture and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to select this little free drop bezier and I'm just gonna draw a nice little triangle like this so now we have our triangle and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna make left 100 and then I'm gonna click inverted so now if I hide this this is what we've actually done we've actually just cropped out everything except for this little triangle right here And if I slide around you see we just have a triangle so now I'm gonna bring this back just so you guys can see so if you're so once you've created your mask this is what it should look like right here just kinda make a little shape in this spot where you want to duplicate the white area that we're gonna copy and put over this um, so if you're selecting mask right here, just kind of click off it. Make sure that you're not clicked on that. You're going to want to come up here to motion and click this square. So now take that and just drag up and you're going to take your mask. And what you're doing is you're taking your mask layer and you're just kind of dragging it up and over wherever you want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on mask now and I'm just going to readjust this mask and just move it over tiny bits so that it's actually where I'd want it to be. And if this kind of cuts off like that, just depending on whatever footage you have, um, you can just come up here to scale and you, and you can actually make the scale a bit bigger like that. So now that's actually good and we can use that and that covers it up very well. So I'll click off of that and it's still kind of showing a little bit on the edge. So I'll click back on, I'll click back on motion and I'll just readjust it. So like that, that is perfect. That right there looks pretty good. Um, if you really wanted to cut off that edge, you can even add another crop effect, just kind of um, being able to like slice it up, make it like perfected. So I'll just show you guys what that could look like. Just make right, change one of these sliders until you see that edge actually slice off like that. And that looks good. That actually blends really well. It looks like there's nothing underneath here. So now what we're gonna have to do is keyframe this so that whenever we move, that actually stays the same and it actually moves with it and keeps covering it up. So what we're gonna do, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go up here 
and we have everything still keyframed. We have all the animations still clicked. Um, if you follow that if it, at the very beginning, what we're going to do is also keyframe the mass path. If you guys hadn't done that, done that already, and we're just going to come up here and we're just going to move frame by frame, and we're going to adjust it by just clicking the square and just moving it down, like that. Then click back, move over a few frames, move it like that. Move over a few frames, move it like that. And if it starts to get bigger, you can always drag it up to just scale it up a tiny bit. Just use this box to kind of position it the way you want it to. So same thing, I'm going to move it over like this. I'm going to scale it up a big amount. And just cover that as best as possible. Okay, so that's starting to look good. Just move over keyframe by keyframe. You just keep readjusting it. Keep using that kind of mass like little block that we have to just completely get the frame. And then whenever we end, what we do is we're just gonna take the picture and just change the duration like that. So let's go back and show you guys exactly what we've done. So right here, it's looking pretty good. There's a part where it's a little choppy over at the beginning right here. So we're just gonna come back in here and fix that. So we're gonna take that, drag that down a tiny bit, that. So just come in, just make your adjustments, make it look as accurate as possible, make sure none of the edges are kind of showing. It may take some time to make the adjustments, um, but that's just the way it is. So we're going to play it out, and that's looking pretty good. Um, whenever we add this in, you'll see that it'll kind of distract from that. So now what we're going to do is just going to make sure this glowing flag is on top. Um, so it's the top layer, and then we're going to come back here and show you guys what that looks like. And I like that. That looks really accurate. It looks really cool. If it's played really quick, no one can even notice there's a mask on there. And I like how that turned out. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let, me, let me know what you guys would like to see next in the comment section below. If you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, more tutorials, more things talking about the business side and music videos, um, more behind the scenes stuff, I have a lot more content coming soon, a mix of informational and entertaining stuff. So hope you guys can subscribe. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.